I was part of the television generation, so I think I would use in TV and, and uh, maybe going to the cinema the whole idea of escape, uh, escaping that. And uh, I, I, yeah, stuff that I saw that would make me want to want to be yeah, just not social realism, more escapist James Bond fantasy stuff. No, I didn't want to be James Bond. Yeah, okay, I did. I don't know. I, did, I, I, I suppose, yeah, I, I mean, as a sort of, as a seven-year-old, of course, when I matured, I realized it's just a fatuous thing to want to be. Monty Python would be, probably be the thing that sort of fascinated me most of all. And, of course, in those days, I would try, before VCRs, I would, uh, but the te cassette recorders had come out, so I would uh, record TV shows by pointing the microphone at the TV. Yeah, and just have the audio track of, of the TV show, you know, like something like 40 Towers. I, I'd, I'd record that, you know, with a microphone, point at the TV. And a afterwards, I would, uh, uh, I would so, I, so I could play it back to, to friends. I'd come around and say, hey, let's listen to an episode of 40 Towers, you know, on a cassette. And then I would, I, I would ex when it was a visual, I would describe the visual to them. So I'd say, he's going into the kitchen now. Oh, he's going into the front, he's going to the front desk now. I wasn't a class clown, though. I wasn't like, hey, look at me, everyone. I wasn't that guy. I was, uh, I was more like I had a small coterie of friends. We had a slightly elitist sense of humor. I think that we kind of liked the fact that it wasn't for everyone. <laughs> I think uh, general observations in the past, maybe I think Americans don't like looking at ugly people. Uh, and they generally like the comedy to come from people being smart and funny, not from people being self-delusional and stupid and funny generally I think although that, that there are examples of that but but um, uh, yeah they like looking at like looking at good and, and also being generally successful in some, some ways the, 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 they may have let screw up their life a little bit but generally they're, they're kind of they they're not they're, they're not unsuccessful people um, I think the British like losers they, they like people who um, are haven't achieved things. I think the, the whole thing of, I think the British are more enthusiastic uh, um, uh, 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 consumers of, of uh, or, or uh, enjoyers of schadenfreude than, than the Americans. And the Americans do enjoy when people screw up. But I think the British particularly uh, take pleasure in others and others' misfortune. I knew I had relatives here. It was a very glamorous place. I mean, I was very aware of it. My sister came, went on a holiday in, in 1977 and came back talking about things we'd never heard of, like Star Wars and Talking Heads. And um, we, I was, we were fascinated by the fact that you could get hot pizza delivered to your door. That just seemed like something from outer space. And New York looks like it looks like, looks like it should be in a movie. But uh, Los Angeles just seemed very slightly... Uh, you, you know, you can come to New York and not know anybody and just see the city and, and absorb it. Being a woman, um, well, really, I don't treat it that much differently from... Being um, playing a man, I just play a someone who happens to have a vagina instead of a penis. Um, <laughs> I don't really like drag acts and stuff like that. I find it quite tedious and boring, to be honest. But um, but I just someone had the idea that maybe I should do a female character, and it, it and the what the, I, I, knew, I knew enough kind of scary working class women growing up in Manchester to to think I I think I've got someone that at least some people would recognise kind of predatory, sort of uh, very assertive, uh, sort of pants-wearing female, females that I sort of was aware of as, as, a, as a kid. Well, you know, in a comedy, it's not hard playing Jesus. It's just um, just a guy, a very well-rounded guy. I mean, Jesus Christ was a very interesting person, you know. Whether he was the son of God or not, who knows, but he was, he was interesting. He was quite philanthropic and fairly well-rounded, I think, in most of his views. He was quite progressive. But I think he's been corrupted by, uh, you know, by people's interpretations of him. Is it the scariest thing stand-up? Uh, yeah, yes it is. It's like, it's the strangest thing because it's both, it's both incredibly exciting and, uh, and petrifying. You go on and then you say the funny lines that you've written and um, they start laughing and suddenly it goes from utter terror to utter ecstasy in a sort of a heartbeat. So it's, um, it's very, it's very... Uh, it's a very sort of enjoyable sort of um, uh, sort of it's like a, you, you can you can understand why people become megalomaniacs uh, because just for the kind of feedback they get from the big speeches, you know, I can understand that why someone might want to become a dictator just to get that kind of 
vibe from the crowd. 